Hello boys and girls, welcome to another episode of the Rusty Scale Show. My name is Chris Veja and I'm happy to be back on the most entertaining scale modeling channel in YouTube. Yeah, why not? In this video, we're gonna check out the build of the P38 Lightning in 172 scale. I did a plastic scale model kit of this odd looking aircraft for an Instagram group build. It was hosted by Ads Brewcutter Models and I was joining late so I only had one month left to send in my submission. And to me, one month from opening the box till the final photo shooting is a very short time. Yeah, I know, I know, I can hear you going on already, but I get lost in the details, man. And as if that would have not been enough, I decided it would be a good idea to try out the Alclad metal paints for the first time. So it was my first attempt with the Alclad metal paints and what I wanted to achieve is that super gloss mirror finish. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to make it glossy as hell and then take that shine away. Does that make any sense? No? Perfect. And so did I made it and submitted my finished build within the deadline, did I achieve that mirror finish? And how about the prices? We will all find out in the video. And I will tell you also a little something about the varnish that you should use to provide that super gloss that you just created. So the paint I was using were these little babies here, these Alclad 2 metal paints uh, distributed by Amomig. I guess it's distributed. It says under license of Alclad 2 lacquers. The original one so I guess what's in here is the same content like in the original Alclad bottles if it's not like this or if you have other informations because that's just what I assume it to be if if that is wrong which could possibly be um, leave a comment let me know in the comments um, did you use this or did someone compare these with the original Alclad paints and saw if there was any difference let me know in the comment section so that's what I'm gonna do. And speaking of the comment section, there's something you need to do. You need to like the video, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel and turn on that bell. Cause if you don't interact with the video, the YouTube algorithm is gonna kick it out of the galaxy. And you know, to be, to be completely honest, I don't wanna be kicked out of the galaxy, bro. I don't want it. So please interact with the video, like it, leave a comment, subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell. Thanks, I love you. So enough of the talking, it's time for some action, but before we take off, I need you to do one thing. Fasten your seatbelts, please. It all starts with the gloss black base primer. I'm using the Iwata Neo airbrush with the 0.35 millimeters needle and about 20 to 23 psi. So for priming, I don't go down. I don't go under 20 psi, and I want some pressure on it. I put thin coats, several thin coats. Oh my God, it's leaking. Could you please uh, clean that professionally? Like, real clean, okay. Oh my God. This is one finished result. The drop tank, completely glossy black prime. Yeah, nice. And this is the bottom side. It's done already. You see the reflection of the light? Okay, before I did the top side, I had to polish it a bit with the Tomia sanding sponge. I think it's 3000 grit. It's not a micro mesh, I know, I know, but I have, I use what I have, all right? Several layers are needed and you need to give it time to dry. After that, I was use, I was trying out the black micro filler, uh, but uh, luckily I didn't try it out on the, on the aircraft itself, just on the drop tank and some other small parts, but it takes away that gloss. Maybe I did it in the wrong um, order, but you see this? It looked more like gray and dull. It, there was no gloss. So for the underneath, I wanted to use stainless steel, which is, uh, yeah, you see it's glass bottles because it's lacquer paint. 
the stainless steel it's less shiny it's it, it don't have that mirror gloss um, um, finish but I wanted to use it for the underneath because the underneath I wanted to have a difference between the underneath and the top side the top side I wanted to have in full gloss the underneath a bit less so you can see here this is with the uh, gloss black uh, base primer but I don't know the camera catch it in a in a silverish bright light I don't know why it's a light reflection you see it's super glossy it's very I mean it's beautiful but it was act actually it was black but it don't look black when I keep it close to the camera it has something to do with the light so balance this out and do a medium you know, light to medium coat with the stainless steel and notice that I didn't mask it you know uh, on the fuselage or around the wings or something because I wanted to fade what I wanted to do is just fade these two tones the stainless steel and the one I'm gonna use for the top uh, just fade them this is the lacquer thinner you can use it for cleaning the airbrush this stuff is great I mean you it, it gets rid of actually ready to use. everything I mean and they're ready to use just yeah use they're ready to use I never had something where it said, you know, you can just, oops. You always have to mix it anyway. You just pour it into your airbrush and it's ready to use. Yeah. Whenever it said that, I still had to mix it because it was it was too thick. But this stuff. This stuff, is really on the other to, hand, okay. is really ready to use. You don't have to thin it down stainless steel from the underneath side on top this actually is still the, the 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 black the gloss black base primer so before I painted the the top side the upper side I was cleaning it with a brush I got from my wife from Madame it's from uh, the her nail art so airframe aluminium was the was the the paint I was using and you see I'm using it straight from the bottle and look at this stuff it's really moving. I mean, it's so interesting. This this paint is so special. It's moving. It's alive, man. It's alive. That's the mask I'm using, a 3M mask. You need to use a mask when you use lacquer paints. Really, really. This is after I finished the first coat. Now, hear my reaction. Live reaction. Oh, my God. This is crazy. Airframe aluminum, oh my god, airframe aluminum, man. Check this out. Yeah, it's, it's only the, the first, first coat. coat. It's only the first coat, bro. <laughs> bro, check it out. It's a medium coat. It's not a very light coat. It's a medium yeah, coat. It's like several coats. I like coats. it better that way. Hey, man, check that out. What is that? I didn't clean it. You saw I just sprayed the airframe aluminum. And I've, I filled the cup. I didn't clean it yet. All right. I just switched off the camera. And I had to switch it on again because this is crazy. The cup looks clean, man. What kind of a paint <laughs> is that? I mean, the cup. See? No, nothing. There's no, there's no paint nothing on my thing. there. I will clean it right now. This, this shit is crazy. It's, uh, it's self-cleaning self -cleaning paint. I mean, that's the best thing I've experienced. So here is a second coat. I'm doing a, a light second coat. That's the finished. That's the finished top coat. I was, you know, I was blown away, man. Look at it. So here, before we start um, doing some different tones on some panels, we have to clean our workbench. Be happy if I would be that fast all the time. So polished aluminium. Polished aluminium for the frames. I just masked. Yeah, I know I have overdone the masking, but you know the, the, the silver, it gives a lot of overspray. So you better overmask it. If you do something like this, there's a lot of overspray. Again, there was a clean cup on the airbrush. Here's some polished metal. Uh, that's Ammo Make acrylic color metal paint. Um, I was doing this from for the uh, underneath side because that was a bit more dull anyway. So I used some acrylic paints. And the result was quite good. I mean, they are good too. It's nothing compared to Alclad, to the high gloss shine of the airframe aluminium, but yeah, solid. Solid metal paints. This is how calm it is on my workbench.
Das Song kein Spielzeug. Metal, stop it. Hey. Baby Rust is scale number one das and Baby Rust is scale number two. Ah. Introducing to you how calm it is at my workbench. <laughs> and this is how extremely relaxing, calm and peaceful it can get at my workbench. Okay, let's have a look. First attempt with the Alclad metal paints, check. Uh, achieve the mirror finish, check. What we are still missing is the information about the varnish that I used to provide the super gloss. And of course, we didn't check out the finished build yet. And the answer to the question if I made it in time to submit my photo uh, for the group build so I can be participating in the contest. Contest? Yeah, there was a contest, man. There were prizes you could win. There were different categories and you could send in your submission to enter one or another or several categories. That's how extremely nicely this group build was organized. So thanks again at Sprue Cutter Models. Your meanwhile, uh, quite famous um, um, group builds, they are really the shit, bro. So, uh, but it's getting kind of late and I feel a bit tired, so I guess I'll wrap it up right now and we will check out all of this in the next episode. So make sure you subscribe to the channel and turn on the bell so you'll get a notification when the next episode goes online. All right? All right, so until then, see you in the next episode. Good fight, good night. <laughs> <laughs>